IntelliJ IDEA 2016.3 has a lot of great new features for working with databases. For example, now you can do find usages of tables and views using Alt F7, the same as you're used to doing with variables, methods or classes. Here you can see the customers table is used in SQL scripts, from select statements in Java code, in database consoles in the IDE, and from within a view. To get this to work, the first time you use IntelliJ IDEA 2016.3, you'll need to select Forget Schemas, and then refresh the schemas. You only need to do this step once for each database. If, after you've done this, not all the usages show up, use Alt and Shift and Command or Control and F7 to configure where to look. Make sure you select All Places. With this setting, you'll see usages of a view or table in code, consoles, routines, triggers, and views, and so on. While we're on the topic of views, notice that now, not only can you copy the DDL for a view, you can open the DDL for a view in a console. You can also rename views and have those changes applied everywhere the view is used. By now, you'll have noticed we have new icons for everything. This lightning bolt is a trigger on the table, so you can take a look at the definition of the trigger and alter it if necessary. We'll navigate from here to the archive function to see its details. The blue areas in the gutter show that changes have been made to this definition, the same as when you make changes to Java code. In this case, we change the interval. As well as seeing the changes in line like this, you can also click on the diff icon to see the changes in a side-by-side -side diff. Speaking of changes, one of the big differences you'll notice working with databases in IntelliJ IDEA 2016.3 is how you make changes to the data itself. When you add new data, for example if you add a new row, you'll see these values in green. These changes haven't been applied to the database yet. If you press Ctrl and Enter, or Command and Enter, this will commit the changes to the database. You can also alter multiple cells at the same time. Hold down Ctrl or Command and click on multiple cells. When you type new data, this appears in all the cells. You'll see that edits appear in blue. Again, these haven't been saved into the database yet. If you delete values, this is shown in grey. You can revert changes using Ctrl and Z or Command and Z, and if you try to do something like refresh the data before all the changes are saved or reverted, IntelliJ IDEA will warn you that you've got unsaved changes. If you prefer the old behavior, you can get it back by going into the settings. In Tools, Database, Data Views, tick the Submit Changes Immediately checkbox. Another feature in the Data Views is the ability to convert data types automatically. Let's say you've copied a series of cells with Boolean values. If you paste these into a text column, the Booleans will be converted into strings. But if you paste them into an int column, they'll be turned into integer values. This is just a taste of the changes in IntelliJ IDEA 2016.3 to support databases.